Okay guys, welcome to another build. This time I'm going to be building a mini exocopter. And uh, it's a cheap Chinese frame that only cost me like 8 euros. I don't know how strong it will be but I got all the parts lying around so I'm going to do it. So I've been assembling this already, the arms and two back. Uh, poles. I'm gonna finish assembling this. I got here pretty much all the material I'll use. Um, the frame, uh, GPS, it's a Neo 6 GPS. It's not the best one. I'm gonna try and run iNav on this. So, this is the GPS if you remember I had in the mini tricopter, which crashed for good. And I also have here a, a m external magnetometer. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one or if I'm going to use the one in the board which will be a SP Racing F3 EVO which already has a mag so I'm gonna I got a power distribution board I got Flysky IA6B receiver I'm gonna be using PPM on this I think um, or SPOS, not sure, maybe PPM. Uh, I got here this casing as I'm gonna be using, uh, as I'm gonna be running INAV on this. It would be good to have a case to fit this in in order to keep the barrel away from the wind so that it does not oscillate. And I got here this case which was for the open pilot CC3D. It's pretty much just the same size. I'm gonna try and adapt this to fit the SP3 race SP Racing F3 Evo. Just it will make it easier to then put a, a piece of foam inside under the, the barrel and keep it uh, free from uh, wind uh, pressure changes. And um, yeah, that's it. I have run I have on that board. Oh, and I also got the ESCs around, which are I got here the ESCs I'm gonna be using the 12 amp, the 12 amp ESCs, um, Simon series. These are all, are all flashed to be a lily. I've been flashing them earlier. And so those are the ESCs I'm gonna be using. And yeah, I'm gonna continue assembling the frame and uh, I'll show you how it goes. Okay, forgot, forgot to show you guys the motors. I'm gonna be using these uh, these BR2204 V2 to, to 2300 KVs I got six of these, I bought them cheap a while ago uh, actually I've had this part these parts, so these are the motors I'm gonna use six of these, got them all here I, I've, I've had the, these parts lying around for like two years now, or at least one and a half years, <coughs> at least. And uh, I haven't been in the mood for building stuff, at least in what it's related to, to flying. But now I suddenly felt like doing it, so if I feel like doing it, I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna keep on assembling the frame here. I'm gonna install the rest of the of these poles in this frame. And I got here my bolts. I only need four now.
set my GPS aside. That GPS might not be the best one, but you know, I'm just trying to reuse all stuff I have lying around. I'm not like into spending a lot of money anymore. I can't do it. Uh, so I'm gonna try and build using what I have, and I'm hopefully it will fly good. I think I can make it fly. Pretty nice. Some people sometimes they they put Loctite on these bolts. Uh, I've done that earlier, but now I'm not doing it because then if I want to remove them, it gets hard. So here goes the mount for the FPV camera, and then the top plate should fit exactly like this. Yeah, and then we got some three dumping balls that will take this plate upon for. A, a camera. See? Not gonna do it for now. For just. I'm gonna remove this now. I'm gonna tight these down. Just a little bit, not, not too much. Because you know, during the build, I might have to pull them out again, sometimes you just put something and then you gotta pull it out and then you gotta install it again and okay, I guess these are pretty much in place On the back, on the back, were already done. All right, got the poles. So, next uh, thing will be installing the motors installing the motors and uh, opening the first box Now I got the clockwise and the counterclockwise ones. I gotta check the diagram and see on INAV, EXA, which motor is clockwise and which motor is counterclockwise. So this one rotates. This this one is a clockwise. It's a clockwise because. Yeah, it tights to the left, so it rotates to the right. Yeah, the bolt gets tight to the left. That means the motor rotates to the right. So this is a clockwise. Maybe it will go here. Well, I'm not sure. I gotta check the diagram first. Once I know the first one, it's easy to find all the others because some of them, that one has the black. That one has the black thread, not on top of the thread because it's a yeah. And, that, and then I got here. I'm gonna show you. It's a clockwise, and this is a a counterclockwise. On these ones, the the nut is is silver. Meanwhile, this one is black. This one is silver, so this will probably go like this one on one side, one on the other, 
one clockwise so they rotate or the other way around not sure, I gotta check the diagram and find the bolts I have lying around for this I bought an old bunch of those a couple months ago I'm not sure where, that, where I got them, I gotta search for those these are racer stars by the way forgot to show you these are racer stars and let me show you on the other side BR2204 V2 2300 KVs racer stars, these are supposed to be good motors at least I wouldn't say good, but acceptable motors. Okay. I found my bag of bolts. These are M3 by 6. And let me try the fitment for these. When I bought these motors, they weren't. They, they did not bring the. The, they did not bring the the bolts, so I got these ones, which will f which are the exact. Can you see the exact size I need? How much they have out? And let me see. I think the thread is correct. I bought them because for this application. Yes, they fit. It's exactly the size I need, considering the size of the frame. That's exactly what I need. So, I'm good to go. To go on with the build. Only have to check the diagram. To see which side is clockwise, which side is counterclockwise. For now, I'm going to leave them like this here. So I'm not sure. So I got the bolts. This power distribution board is a bit smaller than the size here, but it doesn't matter because I, I really I, I don't I do not intend to place it underneath the, the flight controller. I wanna keep it as far away as possible to try and avoid interference in the in the and the F3 board flight controller mag so I'm thinking of placing this here in the back glue it with a piece of double sided tape or, or something like that put a bit of sponge underneath it just to avoid contacts and um, yeah keep it here more or less in place then all the ESCs will come here and then the flight controller which is about the same size using the tiny little box that I will try to adapt so the flight controller would be around here because I gotta leave some space for my FPV camera and so hopefully this way I actually might get rid of interference I am not sure I gotta try it but let's see but first I'm gonna install the motors and um, yeah <laughs> 